up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Milan career. Now today, we will have a chance to wrap up a spot in the next round of the Champions League, get into, those, into that knockout stage with just a draw. We're taking on Galatasaray, a draw would see us through. We probably can't catch Manchester United no matter what happens. We still have a game left against them, but it's not looking likely that we're going to take that top spot. But either way, a spot in the knockout rounds I think is pretty successful for us this season. But before we handle our Champions League business, we have other business to take care of. We are in the league right now against Udinese. They're in 10th place coming in. And the last couple of episodes, we've kind of been having this decision to make. Kyle Lahren or Chicharito. You guys seem in support of Kyle Lahren right now. And I would agree. I think he gives us the best chance right this very minute to win games. At this point, we don't have a choice because we're not fit at all. You can see the lineup we're putting out there. We've had to rotate the team, change formations. Gasparoni is starting. That's how you know we're low on players right now. But... We have to get the job done. If we can get... I, I still think we can win. We'll see how Kyle Lair does. You know, maybe Kyle Lair can lead us to victory here. All right, here we go. Kickoff against Udinese. And I've had a look at their starting 11. It looks like they're about as rotated as we are. There's just nobody all that threatening on that team. I think their best player might be Zapata, the center back we sold them last season. I mean, there's just really not very much there for them. But I don't want to underestimate him. We have to get off to a good start here. Oh, Laren, get that pass away, dude. We had him over the top. <clears throat> oh, that's a big mistake. Bertolacci, play through Kyle Laren. Laren, turn on it. Have that shot, and it's Kyle Laren. I think that shot was deflected. I'm not sure. I didn't think there was a hope in hell of that shot going in. I think that deflected and looped over the goalkeeper. But either way, Kyle Laren, eight and a half minutes into this game, Puts us up 1-0. It's just unbelievable how good he is right now. He's got to be the most informed striker in the world at this point. Scoring goals like this. That did take a deflection loop over the goalkeeper. Lucky, I guess, better than good at this point. Who cares? Kyle Aaron scoring goals and we're winning games. What a start. And geez, when things are going your way, things are really going your way. And right now, Kyle Aaron has everything going for him i mean he just keeps scoring goals come on bonaventura leading us on this break bonaventura play that ball through it's gasparoni bring it down gasparoni shoots had to hit it quick the defender was closing but gasparoni's been lively early in this game i like his action this is beautiful play look at the play it's kyle Aaron. do i hit it i think we just have to hit it with Laren. not 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 a long shot taker is kyle Aaron, but i you know what i had to try it Little ball roll. No, no ball roll. Okay. That's okay. We're looking for... Lozano taps it home! A bit lucky on that one, but still, it was exactly what I was trying to do. Irving Lozano gets on the board. Yo, Udinese's defense is in shambles right now. Our defense looks unbeatable at this point. They haven't even had a shot in the first half. We are all over them, and this is a reserve team. Oh, of course, it would just bounce over my player. Stay solid in there on defense, boys. All right. Udinese starting to play themselves into this game a little bit. Let's go ahead and make a couple of changes. Kyle Aaron, he didn't have full fitness coming in, so we are going to have to take him out. My two options are Lapadula or Gauthier. So, uh, yeah, that's 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 what we're dealing with here for fitness. Let's go with Gauthier for this one. Modic, who hasn't played a single minute all season, has to come off for Gasparoni. And I think we'll wait. Pulisic most likely will come in at some point. It's been a couple of games where we've gotten this early lead in the first half. And then we just, we can't quite see it out. Like, we can't put it away in the second half. They, they, they play themselves back into it. We get a little bit sloppy. This is not what we need to be doing right... Uh-oh, this is a problem. This is, this is most definitely problem. Huge block. What a ball. What a ball from Gauthier to find Lozano. Come on, Lozano. Come on, Lozano. Put it across the box. It's there. Oh, the keeper gets fingertips to it. Wow, we almost had a third one there. And then in the end, it doesn't matter. That is the final whistle. Wow, Udinese turned that thing around on us. That very easily could have been a, a game where we lost points. We dominated that first half. Udinese equally as good in the second half. So, whew, that was that was scary moments at the end of that. I'm glad we held on. Good performance overall, I guess. The defense held strong, so I'm happy with that. It's a little sketchy there, though. That, that had me nervous. So Kyle Laren has now come to us and he wants to discuss his wages. It's understandable. It is understandable. He's making $17,001 per week. I don't know where the $1 came from. 
So let's see how much he wants. He only wants 20? I thought for sure it'd be at least $40,000 per week. Okay. Well, you know what, Laren? I'm going to make your day, buddy. I'm going to give you $25,001. $25, I can't get rid of the $1. Either way, that's okay. Um, we'll keep you at we'll keep you at import, important first team player because he is. And uh, we'll extend him by, let's go with two years. We'll give, we'll give him that contract, see what he says. Well, I got bad news and I got worse news. The bad news is, Ro Magnoli, away on international duty with Italy, tore his ACL and he's out for four months. That sucks. We were three days away with Kaká from being fully fit as a team. And now we lost one, one of our most important players in our defense for four months. That's the bad news. The worst news is, we're about to play Juventus. This is what we're going to do for now. Gomez is just going to step up and play in the center spot. I was considering moving Fosu Mensa back into the center back spot, but I'd rather play Gomez there and Fosu Mensa out wide than have to play Calabria out, out at right back. That's just not what I want to do against Juventus, not with the type of players they have. So that is the lineup we're going to go with. The rest of the team, first choice starting 11, Kyle Aaron gets the start in here. At the San Siro against Juventus. This is a huge match. Probably the biggest of his career. We'll see how the kid does. It's a big one, man. I think this is first versus third place. It's a massive, massive match. Alright, here we go. Kickoff against Juve. They've got their typical three at the back formation out there as well. Something new, though, they've added to the mix. is They bought Thiago from uh, Bayern Munich, so... Just one more crazy good midfielder to add to the mix. Nothing new, but okay. We'll see what we can do here on the volley. Woo! Corona getting it started early. I like it. Good good early movement. Good, good job, boys. That's, that's a good start. Erickson. Beautiful ball through for Erickson. Pull it back. It's freaking Niang right there, but I put it right at Buffon. That's unfortunate, but we're still on it. Come on. Oh, we lost the ball for a corner. Okay, we'll take it. Here we go. Fosu Mensa. Making his way forward. In for Erickson. Erickson. Erickson has the sh shot. Oh my goodness. Somehow for Niang. Niang. Good turn. Niang. Still on it. Niang. Oh my goodness. He missed. There is the whistle for halftime. We've had a lot of shots. We've had a lot of really, really good looks. Buffon has stopped us at every turn though. On the other side, man, Rugani single-handedly is shutting Juventus down. What a purchase he has been, and I'm thinking Juventus right now are wishing they hadn't sold him, especially to us. Daniela Rugani on, on Higuain, and Higuain just has no chance. I gave the ball right back, but good grief. Rugani just cannot be beat in there today. Actually, I see a ball for Kyle Aaron. He has got by the defense. Kyle Aaron gets all the power on that one. He hits the crossbar. Man, he got that thing so perfectly struck. Just beat. He beat Buffon, couldn't beat the post. Oh, big play, Yuri. Big play, Yuri. And look at all the space for Niang. Here we go, boys. Now Juventus are starting to fade. Juventus starting to fall apart. I tried to go near post that time, and I still can't beat Buffon, though. Oh, man. Yuri's chasing Sandro. Yuri's chasing Alexandro with everything he's got left in the tank. But there is Daniela Rugani one more time. Come on, boys. A counterattack. I see you, Erickson. Let's try to give him the ball. Erickson is on this thing. Erickson, can we pass it? Yes. Laren back for Ericsson. Beautiful team play. And there it is. The $60 million man one more time. Christian Ericsson puts us up 1-0 shortly before the 70-minute mark. Oh, what a perfect counter attack. I didn't know if the pass was going to get there in the end. But it was the perfectly weighted pass from who else? Kyle Laren. Man, what a play. And finally, we've beaten Buffon. All right, and with that goal, we are going to make some changes now. Yuri and Kyle Aaron are coming off. Ricardo Montalivo and Irving Lozano coming on. Niang is going to play striker now for us. I want to bring Chicharito on, but honestly, making a sub and bringing a striker on is not the best idea. I'm bringing Lozano on because he tracks back very, very well and wins a lot of balls. Oh, Montalivo's lost it. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the numbers. Look at all the white shirts back here, Rugani. I am counting on you for right now. Oh, Rugani, thankfully... The man on the ball was Chiellini. Thank goodness that was not an attacking player that was back there. Let's let's go a little bit more defensive here. We need to keep our defensive form. How did he miss? All right, corner. Whoa, quickly taken 
But who does it find? Daniele Rugani. What a man he has been in there for us today. And there he is again. Are you kidding me? Best defensive performance by any player on this team all series long. Rugani is an absolute hero in this game. There is the final whistle. A 1-0 victory over Juventus. I'm not complaining about 1-0s when we play teams like that. I will absolutely take that every single time. That was a hard-fought game. A lot of attacks going both ways, but oh my goodness. Daniele Rugani. I, I had to have said his name at least a dozen times, maybe more. He had one of the best defensive games I've ever seen a defender have. He was absolutely incredible in that game. Easily man of the match for me. So here are the player ratings from that one. I actually expected Buffon to get man of the match. He had 10 saves in there. The man of the match actually goes to Christian Eriksen who played a 9.3. He was all over the place. He'd be my second choice for man of the match. But look at Rugani's rating. He got an 8.5. You know how hard it is to get an 8.5 as a defender in this game? It's nearly impossible. That shows you how good he was. I probably can't show you every highlight of every play he made. But oh my goodness, that proves how huge he was in that match. All right, so into the Champions League we go. Remember, one point will see us through to the next round. A loss here could be very, very bad because then we would need a result to guarantee ourselves a spot in the next round against Manchester United. We don't really want to have to go into that game needing something from it. So I'd like to get the point here. Unfortunately, we have to completely rotate the team. I'm even taking Donnarumma out for this one. I need to rest him at some point. So Lopez is going to get the start in there. The good news is Kaká returns from injury. He is back in the starting 11 for this one. Alongside Montalivo and Bertolacci. It's a very strong midfield. The team overall still very, very strong. But I would have liked to have played the starters here. We need this point. Like I can't stress enough how important it is to get a point from this. We're at home. We should be able to take care of business here. All right, here we go. Kickoff against Galatasaray. And we only have one win in the Champions League coming into this game. Hasn't been the best performance from us. But if there was ever a time where we're going to get our second, needs to be right now. Chicha is holding it up, waiting. Beautiful play. Lozano, nice turn. Irving Lozano has the shot and bangs it into the back of the net. That's one of the best finishes we've seen today. What a strike from Irving Lozano. You wonder why I love this guy. Man, is he just so creative. And just, he's one of the very few players on this team that finds their own shot. And it just melts defenses. We're doing well. Just hanging on. We just got to hang on to this 1-0. I mean, really, we don't need anything else. Good play from Vangioni, though. Vangioni. Oh, there's Chicharito. Chicharito. Back inside. Oh, Kaká. Got a shot away. It was deflected somewhere by somebody, but Kaká nearly put us up 2-0. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Oh, my goodness, Lopez. Big plus. The first thing he's had to do all game long, and it was a massive intervention from Diego Lopez. And here comes... Irving Lozano, we're tramping this thing out 100% to Chicha. What the hell? Why did Chicharito curve his run towards me? That might be the last straw for Chicharito. I swear down, I can't handle his stupid plays anymore. That should have been a goal. That was a dumb pass. That should have been a goal. He should. He's had to stay there and he had to tap in. Oh no, here come Galatasaray. If they get the equalizer here. Yo. I am this close to selling Chicharito in the offseason. Or in, in, in January. And I wait till the offseason. He royally has pissed me off in this game. That just went five hole on Diego Lopez as well. What did Chicharito do on that fast break? Go to the penalty spot. Park your ass. Wait for the pass. Tap it in the net. That's all he had to do. And he completely screwed it up. Instantly back down the other side, Galatasaray equalized. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm so mad at Chicharito right now. There is the final whistle. This one comes to an end. One all draw. The second one all draw we've gotten against Galatasaray. It was a very scrappy game. It was very, very scrappy, but we should have won. We really, really should have won. If that is a game in the knockout rounds and Chicharito does that, oh my goodness. I, I, uh, I would have a hard time not just completely 
putting him at the end of the reserves and never seeing him again. And selling him in January. I'm, I'm so mad at what he... Oh, that was the dumbest run ever. But it doesn't matter. We hold on. We get the result we need. We're moving through to the knockout rounds. For the last game today, we're going to go ahead and take on Cagliari. We're on the road for this one. They are... I don't know. So far down the table, I have no idea where they are. I Honestly, they're way down towards the relegation zone. We got the first choice 11 out there as well. One all draw. And we picked up an injury. Well, that couldn't have gone any worse. All right, so that is where we're going to end things for today. The injury to Jesus Corona, just a, a bruised hip or something. He's fine. He'll probably be back for our next game, which is a week away. And we're taking on second place Inter in a massive, massive Milan Derby. Can't wait for that one. Four days after that, we have Manchester United in our final game in the group in the Champions League. Though... That game doesn't mean anything. The one against Manchester United, we can't catch them and take over first place. We also can't fall out of second. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put the first team out there. Most likely not, considering the schedule we have right now. So that is it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you when we come back for some more Milan career. See ya.